So I have recently joined uh, TikTok, and uh, instead of making funny content uh, that I did at the beginning, I am now transitioning into a more serious, more activist role within that platform. And I want to share something uh, that I have come across repeatedly ever since making that transition in today's video. So uh, let's get right into it. So good to be seen and it's even better to see what's going on guys. Welcome back to yet another video. Today we're sponsored by Petmosphere, the only app that you'll ever need as a pet lover. Feel free to swing by petmosphere.com and download it for free on both iOS and Android devices anywhere in the world. So as I previously stated, I'm using TikTok a lot more for uh, vegan activism, animal rights activism. And so I am opening my doors to any and all questions uh, from uh, genuine people that are curious and intellectually stimulating, whereas I am completely blocking everyone that just comes to troll or has nothing to uh, contribute. Uh, I am not looking for contentious debates. I'm looking for open-ended conversations that we can have uh, and which to grow, right? And, uh, and so I want to share with you guys some uh, very important uh, topics concerning this uh, superiority complex uh, with which we are constantly uh, hounded by. So point number one that I want to talk about is we are not better than you. We are simply better than who we were yesterday, than who we were before going vegan. Now, I see a trend in the sense that I, I notice that people often make this about competition. We are not competing against anyone outside of this community. We're simply competing with the problems at hand, health and nutrition, climate change, global warming, environment, and honestly, the focal point will always be the animals. Veganism is all about the animals. So when, when people um, say that we have this superiority complex, uh, we are not simply competing against you. Uh, we are simply uh, trying to be better than who we were yesterday, trying to make better decisions for both ourselves, the animals, and the planet. Uh, so that right there is definitely the, um, the biggest uh, talking point that I have. Uh, we're not competing against you. This isn't a, a, some sort of a race. Uh, if anything, uh, we are racing against time and uh, death and diabetes. Uh, this is not uh, you versus me. This is uh, a problem that we have to deal with in a global scale because we are all in this together. There is no planet B. We can't colonize Mars yet. Um, so when it comes to uh, actual rat race, if you will, that I've noticed on TikTok, it's not about that. It's just baking decisions so that we can improve who we are tomorrow. The second phrase that I've actually seen repeatedly is this holier than thou attitude that we have within the community. Um, it is easy for people to say that on our platform, specifically TikTok again, since we are talking about this social network. Um, this holier than thou thing um, is actually a thing because we are so vocal about uh, what we do and our mission statement and uh, our vision and our goals. And so coming off as a, a vocal person, vocal individual within this community can in fact uh, uh, rub people the wrong way if they don't have a, an open mind when it comes to the words that are literally coming out of our mouth. So um, it's not about this holier than thou attitude. It's about um, being vocal and uh, always being present and putting a lot of content out there. We live uh, in a media, in a social media world after all. And so, uh, it, again, it's not about being holier than that. We are not superior uh, to you in any way. Um, we just want to get the word out there. And um, I know that both quality and quantity matter, um, but at the end of the day, it's not about being better than you. It's about uh, making more informed decisions and acting upon that new knowledge that we have acquired. Lastly, the third point I want to talk to you about is the fact that some people say that my moral compass is more ethical than that of theirs. And, you know, this is in fact not the case. Uh, if anything, it's, it's more aware. Um, I have uh, been more aware. My awareness has uh, in fact been raised as a result of going vegan. 
um, almost four years now. So it's not that my moral compass is uh, a better than yours. It's not that my belief system is uh, more in tune with the world. It's not that my my values um, weigh more than yours. It's absolutely not about that. It's, it's strictly about just making ethical decisions when it comes to my everyday living. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day and in conclusion, this is a short video. Um, it's not about being better than you. It's about being better than yourself and getting people to realize that they can in fact make uh, more informed decisions. So that is, uh, that is the gist of it. Um, I hope that you got something out of it. If you did, I would uh, very much appreciate a like. It definitely helps the channel. If you're new here, I would love to have you. I'm trying to grow this audience as much as I can and educate and have open-ended conversations. So if you're looking forward to that, hit that bell on the way out so that you don't miss a single episode when I upload. I'm Again, I am on TikTok using that as a social platform. I love the fact that I can reply uh, using video as well. So who knows, maybe I can take your questions and I can address you personally. I would love to see you on there. I will go ahead and link it below right here before I uh, head out. Again, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.